So I am just outside uh, to Royal Avenue. So it used to be, if you don't know, the Tesco Bank that was here, the, or Tesco Bank, Tesco uh, Metro that was down here. Um, it's now used like a performance space, an art space, which is a great way to use it actually. Um, there's some Belfast Christmas performances on tonight. Um, and then you've got the festive markets and lead up to Christmas too. Um, stop on 21st and tells you a wee bit about it there. There's like a cafe inside and different things like that. Live music as you can hear in the background. I'll go and see in a minute. Um, but yeah, they've done it really nicely inside. I mean, they didn't really need much to be honest with you other than taking out the shelves and things. But um, beautiful architecture, beautiful uh, paint job I suppose. Inside, you know, lovely colours and things. And I'll take you in with me and see what it looks like. So I am currently, I'm currently in uh, to Royal Avenue. Um, if you don't know where that is, it's where the old Tesco used to be, and it's now vacated and being used as like an open space for arts events and different things like that. Okay, so um, as you can see, lots of different events up until end of January are unwrapped, live and online. Um, there's going to be loads of different things, live music, uh, different shows, stuff like that, but what I want to sort of focus on is how beautiful this place is. Look at the colours of that. Absolutely stunning. You can see like the different statues that sort of adorn it the whole way around. Now this was actually um, created in 1869. William Joseph Barr um, actually was the architect and designer of this and he designed other famous buildings such as Abra Clark and the Ulster Museum and places like that so very very famous architect in Belfast he sadly died before it was actually completed took a good few years to complete died before it was completed so they actually changed a few of the things that he wanted but you know they did a good job and I remember this obviously and you probably will if you're from Belfast being just in Tesco Metro down here and look at the change of that now I think they probably should do up the back a little bit I'll show you that now but um Otherwise, it's an absolutely stunning building, and I'll show you around a little bit too. We've got a little bit of a coffee shop around here, um, which isn't free, but the rest of the place is free to the public, which is great to see. Um, civic sort of spaces at the back here. There'll be different music things on, as you can see there. Um, there's a stage in the distance there. There was music playing when I first came in here. Grand piano, I think the people the tinkle on the keys a bit. Um, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why I showed that so close, but very, very nice space. There's also seems to be little booths over there where people can do a wee bit of work and things. There's like connectivity parts and things like that. But if you want to see details of more of what's happening, um, just check here on the council website and also on those Instagram and Facebook tags. Did you? Done a good job. Good use of the space, I think, until something more permanent comes in. Don't know if this will always be like this, so I think it would be actually a lovely concert venue because, as I said, he designed Ulster Hall, so he knows about the acoustics and different things like that. It used to be the bank, provincial bank, bank of Ireland building, okay, in the city centre, and then it had a few iterations up until it became the Tesco Metro, and now it's obviously been used as this, but yeah, really. Um, Beautiful little space here. things like that in here um, I'm assuming this is just for working space for people to come in and just relax during the day if they want to but um, great space completely free of charge to get in here you do have to show your um, your COVID passport your vaccine certificate or um, negative lateral flow you have a little uh, checkpoint sort of thing at the door um, but yeah I really really can't wait to see what uh, is going on and I don't know what this is behind me there seems to be like a biodome thing with lots of plants and, and stuff if you can see that 
some retreat, see what that's going to be turned into. But it's uh, free of charge. I think it's open for the next two years, actually. So there's going to be lots of different events that are going to be in here. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what their, their lineup is. But just want to show you a picture of the um, two uh, Royal Avenue building. Uh, definitely coming down here, check it out. Um, especially when there's some live music on, things like that. Getting the crystal spirit a bit. But see you later and um, check out some more of our videos in Belfast if you haven't already. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much. Bye.